Hi everyone. Last time in the tutorial we looked at a book card that had a um, recess in it that you could decorate. Okay, it opens like a book um, and this is another version that you can take your skills further with. So what I've done is I've got myself some um, just plain um, picture frames and the techniques we used for making the box on the back I have fashioned a box to go on the back that fits inside the picture frame. Now you can choose to use the glass or not. I've got two samples to show you, one with and one without. So we'll go um, on to the detail of making the box again shortly but this one I have used um, a balustrade that I've cut out by hand and I've put um, a, um, a piece of paper wrapped over the top to, to make the, ban the banister itself. This was just a little die cut um, that I've put a picture in uh, to make a frame. These were from a doll's house and on this triangle of the stairway I've just put a couple of bits of wrapped card that make it look like a 3D door on the, on the under stairs. And here we've got the same little dog that's in here sitting down and he's just watching the little girl go up the stairs. Okay, so that is one version. Okay, now another version that I wanted to show you was called A Walk in the Forest. And this is purely stuff that I have picked up as I've been walking around um, a lovely place called Foxleys. And I've pressed some of the flowers and some of the um, ferns from there. There's some acorns um, that were picked up, some fir cones, lots of lovely lichen, and actually they're, they're all different. Okay, so I've got some bits of twig. Um, I've added a, a background of um, a stone wall, and I've actually cut some of that off to make a little wall here, so it adds dimension to it. So let's have a look if I can bring it up further. So you've got a little snail look down here. So it is an empty one. Um, so you can see that you can enjoy a walk, pick up all sorts of different things and put it into a memory box and that will remind you of your walk in the forest or on the beach or anywhere else that you've been. Okay. Now, what we're going to do on here is learn how to make the box but I just wanted to show you this one um, this was just made out of um, die cuts I haven't fixed it on yet but a scene in the background die cuts and I've just roughly cut um, some hills in in the foreground we've got a lighthouse and these were some odd die cuts that I had lying around and a few a lobster pot and some rope and stuff. But you could go to the beach and pick up lots of things, um, driftwood and stuff that you could put inside a box. But that was just from a, um, a shadow box that I made and it just so happens that it fits this frame that we're going to work work on. So let's go to our empty frame and I've already taken out the glass and I've taken out this bit that was in the back by just pulling off the little tabs that are here. Okay so I prefer to actually remove those with a pair of pliers, but I wanted you to see first how the frame came. Okay, so I'm going to take that out. 
we might use that for um, a measurement. Now I'm not going to give you any measurements for this project whatsoever because it's up to you what size frame you have and we can adjust it for any design. So what I'm going to do now is to, I've got a piece of mount board. I could use the wooden backing but I like to design on card. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to mark there. All right, so just inside the frame, I'm going to bring that up there and I'm going to mark just inside the frame there. So I can now take my ruler and I know that is going to be the width. So take my craft knife. You can use scissors, it depends what you want to work with. Okay. It's getting down near the end of my knife. Right, so we've got an across measurement. Now we want the length marked, so if I pop that in there, I can mark the edge here, because I can see where the frame is. I'm going to move it back a bit, mark that side there, and that now gives me my measurement, and hopefully this will sit right down in my frame because this is our base that we're going to work on. Okay, so let's check it there and it fits in beautifully. Okay, I'm just going to see if I've got my pliers that I can pull those bits out. No, nope, I can't see it at the moment. So we'll carry on working. So, don't forget I told you no measurements. So, I have cut some strips of card. This is just a, a box that I had lying around. Take a bit of the glue off. And I've got three bits that are all the same width. It doesn't matter what width, it, what does matter um, is that you've got enough to go all the way around and it depends what you're going to put inside your box. So this is just over an inch and I'm going to take that, place that on there and I'm just going to mark, let's move it over, I'm going to mark the length. glue there that I don't want there and I'm just going to take off a smidgen that's all I've taken off because we want to make an allowance for the width of the cardboard so now I'm going to take my next one place that because we want two strips two long strips so I've got a strip for there a strip for there. Right, I've got another piece here and I'm going to line that up and just mark on there. Right, I'm taking off another smidge. There we go, you can see how small how small that is. Right. right, now that's not going to be long enough. So let's see, I've got another piece of card here, it's not the same. But 
doesn't matter. Use what you've got at home. So now I've got two pieces, two pieces there. Right, so I've got my four sides that I've measured up against my backboard and I know that that is going to fit exactly into my frame. Okay. So anything that you assemble needs to be on the inside of the um, backboard because we know that the backboard is the right size. So going back to last, last time's video where we made the box. Let's try and move that out of the way. I'm going to take my backboard and I'm going to fit that half onto my duct tape. There we go. And I'm going to cut off the excess. There we go. Leave that there because we want that again. And this was a long piece, so I'm going to match the long piece up here, but I'm leaving myself a little gap all along because I need to be able to fold that up onto there. So all it is is about the same width as the card. Okay. Turn it round. And I'm going to take it now and place that level with the edge of the backboard and place that on there. Take the next piece, place that on, leaving myself that little gap and cut off the excess. Turn it round line up with this piece of the backboard here. Don't want anything that you're having to wrap round at the moment. There we go, another long piece. Make sure you leave that little gap in there. Cut it off and we're going to fit the last piece. Now this comes a little bit difficult because we want to line it up with that side and place this side down but keep this up because we want to be able to cut that off without going under here. Last piece. Yeah, make sure they're lined up really nicely. This one didn't want to go down. There we go. So, get rid of that. Now I'm going to take my duct tape and I'm going to place it onto there and cut it. It's far easier to cut duct tape when it's on some sort of surface. Okay, so I'm going to come down through the middle there and I want four pieces so I've gone across and down. Pick up one edge and it will come off exactly where you've cut it. Fix it onto one side, bring these up so they meet and then go round the corner. Duct tape is extremely strong, so it will hold together brilliantly. So there we go. There's half of the corner done. Lift it up, pull it up to match. And on it goes. If you need to, just lift up the corner with a pokey tool or a knife. And the last one. Oh, 
onto there. There. So we have a basic um, a box done. And what I'm going to do is I would like to reinforce the corners a little bit. So I'm going to take four pieces again. And this time I want to make sure that I go right down to the corner. Yeah. Yeah. You can cover the sides um, with pretty paper because you will see the edge of the box when it's on the wall or wherever you're going to display it. Last one. Onto there and round. Now that is really, really firm. Now, test comes here. When I take my frame, and it's easier if you go from the back, and you slot that down in Turn it over, make sure it's slotted in. So I'd prefer to have taken out those little little lugs. There we go, and it slots perfectly in, and you've got this lovely rebate for anything that you want to put inside. Okay, this one um is about three centimeters just about one and a quarter inches um, the others I did this one was about an inch so you can see you work the depth of the box um, to whatever you're going to put inside and you work to your picture frame so there are no measurements you just take your picture frame and you don't even need to measure. You just take a piece of card, pop it in and cut it the length right, and the width. So you don't need any fancy measurements at all. So let's bring in this one again because there are hundreds thousands of different themes that you can put inside your box and work to whatever sizes you've got but consider all sorts of things little doll's house bits um, this one entirely out of natural bits picked up on a walk and this one, a mixture, put the frame on it, a mixture of die cuts, a picture, and some extra die cuts on there. So anything goes, but do have a go and think of your favourite scenes and things that you can put in your shadow frame box. Enjoy and God bless you all.